Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. We have an emergency in Sector 3 to deal with. We may want to be recharged 150 missiles. That's awesome. Now yeah, we'll save. Alright, the red flashing on the screen is going to make this really challenging for me to watch from my TV. Emergency in Sector 3. Yeah, we know. The area could melt down soon. It seems the main boiler's cooling unit is malfunctioning. This could easily destroy the entire research station, as it would likely trigger the auto-destruct explosives. We have about six minutes. Hurry to Sector 3 and access the control room to the side of the main boiler room. Most of the systems in Pyro are down because of this. Again, we know who to blame. The SEX must have hacked into the system control file. What impressive intelligence. Is your objective clear? Yes. There's little time. Hurry to the control room in Sector 3. Yep, we have six minutes to do this. So, this could be our first uh, legit game over screen. It won't even let you go to another door. I don't know why you'd want to, because you auto-lose in six minutes if you don't fix this. Uh, the save rooms are even disabled. Which, I, I like that touch. Oh, I gotta remember. Oh, we gotta go to the right, which just takes... That doesn't take that. It takes going this way. But we do need to do this. And then we end up here. We can freeze these guys. I can just get hit by everything. And now it's appropriate to go through this section. Yep. Five minutes. Oh, that's... that's gonna hurt. That hurts a lot. Alright, watch for those things. And we're good. Oh my gosh, I cannot see a thing on the TV. There's anything here. Use your ice missiles to freeze those guys and climb up on them. Yeah, I should take those guys out. Do be careful there, because those blocks will uh, crumble underneath you. It's kind of a mean trick, because it does kind of set you back when we're trying to be quick, and that's also kind of rude. But we're in the main boiler. We're in the main boiler room. And we have an eye door. Oh, come on. And the scientists kill him. It's it's an SAX. Or not an SAX. It's a uh, guy that we're aiming very 
Where are we at? This, I also had a really tough time doing this section in uh, the 1% run. I, by this point in my 1% run, I was having difficulty with literally everything. Uh, because getting through that entire section in the time limit, and then still battling that guy. Oh, yeah, I have to uh, stop this thing. Hooray. But they do give you plenty of time, even for your first time playing. Uh, we have the wide beam. It's wide. It's kind of like the spazzer from uh, the previous game, and it adds some more power to... Uh, ow. Add some more power to the beam. Still falling for that same trick. This is a precarious position. And now we're kind of free to explore the rest of Sector 3. Now this is also kind of the segment of the game where we're getting into uh, revisiting the stages, or the sectors. And as much as I want to map that in, I don't. Okay, Samus wanted to map that in. Uh, let's see, can I go places? I can go places. I wonder if I can get back up to that one area where we missed the uh, energy tank earlier. And with the ice missile, you just barely get enough uh, reach to get up to here. Thought for sure there is. A... Oh, that was rude. That was really rude. Okay, I know what I must do. You have to use ice missiles through this entire section. Or wait until you come back with, you know, better abilities. But, why do that when we can get this stuff? We can get this stuff now. Look at this, we get an energy tank. How nice is that? We come over here, and we get the missile tank. And it drops us out here. I don't think there's anything in there, but I do want to map the corner. I know it's going to be painful. It's going to be painful. Oh, uh, we have mapped the corner. We have painfully mapped the corner. And so we're able to get that stuff. Uh, oh, get those guys out of my way. And we're ready to head up again. You guys have gotten stronger, I think. All right, let's check the map. Uh, so if I want to get back up to that upper section, we need... Well, we need to go up. Still don't think we can get back there yet. 
That's not gonna stop me from trying. Well, I tried. Now the wide beam can kind of just uh, tear through these guys a little bit better. Actually, fly up here. Yeah, you. Ha. Huh. Well, okay then. You got me. And we'll go ahead and save it. We have tons of health. Uh, but boss fights can still take that down quickly in this game. The X mimicked a crew member. It all makes sense now. The X can absorb the memories and knowledge of their prey. What an astounding find. HQ was very impressed, but don't you find it strange? This could have destroyed the station with the X in it. Not to mention the SAX. Unusual for a self-preserving species like the X, unless your presence is an even greater threat, a threat to the existence of X elsewhere. This is only a hypothesis. Perhaps their survival instinct is in conflict with their newly borrowed intelligence. Don't let your guard down yet. The X are still a threat. Samus, I see biosigns on the habitation deck. Survivors? The infected crewman you saw had survived until recently. Maybe there's a chance. The signs emanate from here. Is your objective clear? I've just restored power to the main elevator. How convenient. Use it to return and look for any other survivors. I mean, you could go to other sections, but again, with wide beam, ice missile, well, ice missiles might get us something else in sector one, I don't know. But more than likely, not really. So we'll mosey on up. Wow, SAX made a mess. Speed boost, I can do that. I can do it going this way, too. Uh, although that doesn't really get us anything new. And now if you miss stuff on the main deck, you can come back and get it. Navigation room's not going to tell us anything new. But I don't think there's anything additional we can get. We can go to our ship. Uh, well, there are new things we can get. We can get the stuff we missed before, or we can come up to these level 2 locks. And that thing is here now. As I mentioned before, that requires a power bomb. So we'll just take this televator up to the habitation deck. And we have a save room. I'm not going to save it.
so this becomes an interesting place. Uh, we can't do much there, but you can see missiles. I want the missiles. Let's get the missiles. So if we come through here, we still can't get the missiles. Oh, come on, really? You make me go all the way down here for you to spawn. Okay, that takes a uh, speed boost, I believe. No, it does not. It takes... It just takes bombs. That takes the speed boost. And that is our missiles. And there's a secret passage over here. Oh, hi there. Wait a mess. I don't think there's anything on that side. Pretty sure there's not. Alright, so we have... I forget their names, but... Uh... The creatures that we found in Super Metroid are here. And there's a little baby birdie thing now, too. Hooray! That's a cute little scene. And we got the missile upgrade, so we are done here. Oh, Actacoons and Decoras. I think I'm meeting them before. I've met these intelligent beings before. They seem to recognize me as well. How unusual to meet again here. In the past, they've helped me unleash abilities I didn't know I had. But where did they run to? I hope they're safe. And that brings us back to the main deck. Uh, and I think I'm going to stop it here, and we'll pick this up uh, next time.